Hey, how's it going? It's Money Menu with HJX TV coming at you on this Friday. It is January 22nd, 2021. And yep, we are definitely going to talk more about crypto today. Uh, thank you for the subscribers, new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, hit the red subscribe button. And don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Here we go. So yeah, I was actually looking. Yeah, everybody's freaking out with Bitcoin. What's going to happen? You're like, what the hell, right? Um, so I'm looking here. It Actually, we're back on an upturn. It's Everything's in the green. Uh, Bitcoin right now is at $33,392. So it's a, about 8% increase. So looks like they're on the back on the rise. Look, um, what probably happened is um, after those, the big whales sold off their, you know, made some profit off of their big gains. They're probably ready to go back on another upturn. So, and more people are probably purchasing it right now. Because um, other than that, it wouldn't go back up, right? So, it's definitely back. Yep. The, um, yeah, next Ethereum is at $1,200. And that's at a negative 5% decrease in the green. I mean, excuse me, actually, increase in the green. <laughs> decrease. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. Yeah, they're increasing 9%, 1247 um, Litecoin is at $138. That's at a plus 5% increase in the green. Um, all these are in the green. So um, XRP, known as Ripple, is at 2% 2, 2 increase in the green. Um, Bitcoin Cash is at five, a little over 5% increase in the green. Um, EOS is also at um, $2, and that's... Uh, a 3% increase in the green. It's slowly approaching 4%. So definitely look into those. Now let's check out a few articles and see what they're talking about. All right. So here it says Bitcoin um, Bitcoin price bounces above the 32K as MicroStrategy buys the dip um, with $10 million. Oh, so MicroStrategy um, uh, put in $10 million. A further commitment to its treasury sees MicroStrategy um, grayscale this week's buyer while others are selling. Very true. Bitcoin uh, showed signs of um, of resurgence on January 22nd after a um, trip below the 30,000 mark. So it actually went down a little bit and then came back up. So um, it seals about an 8.5% daily bounce. The data from Coin Telegraph markets and trading value uh, showed a stronger trading day for Bitcoin on Friday. Um, so definitely looking good today. <clears throat> the turnaround follows a turbulent 24 hours in which Bitcoin slid to 28,950, a key level when it comes to support. And uh, yeah, it went back up, um, went actually below 30,000 and slowly came back up. So, <clears throat> definitely all eyes were on, especially on it when it was dipping to the $29,000 mark. What I'm thinking is that after certain, those certain whales sold their shares, you know, a lot of the Bitcoin traders were checking it out and waiting for it to get, maybe hit a certain number. And then everybody started buying, I think, at like 29000 So, um, actually, it's a smart move. Um, I probably would have did did the same thing as well um definitely looking at um yeah buying on the dip it's the smartest thing to do because you know why buy it when it's high right especially when it was yeah when it was over 40 g's um now it's a little over back up to 32,000. um yeah according to um monitoring resource well map that the area is crucial to hold in order to avert a further price dip in bitcoin Right, and uh, here it says NFT boom and platform upgrades back uh, decent uh, central lands mana, hundred percent rally. Um, in the past year, non uh, non tokens of NFTs have been gaining around um, as the digital art markets explode and developers experience. I mean, experiment with a variety of use cases. Uh, data from non fungal shows that over the past thirty days that there. are 58,000 uh, NFT sales and 12.7 million worth of volume. So, 
at the end of the day, when you see those dips go up and down, um, I would say every 10 grand, just watch for that big dip. Um, it, you, another good thing is you could just hold, stay holding. I mean, if you want to sell, that's, that's, that's your choice as well. So definitely be checking that out on those recent dips. Um, here it says in the same time period, MANA, the token behind blockchain-based virtual world, a Decentraland totaled 600,000 in NFT trades. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, the virtual re reality platform is built on the Ethereum blockchain and provides a digital landscape where players can explore, interact with other players and purchase land plots um, and other items. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it is called, it's a game, yeah, NFT Boom and uh, Mana, Mana for NFT Boom. Um, it's basically a virtual reality game and you can definitely make some money with that, so definitely check that out so but that's all i got for you guys today it's money manny with htx tv don't forget to um if you're not subscribed hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm talk to you guys later